All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the joy of trucking. Good morning. This is where you can learn from our experiences. We hope to give you some tips and insights into the trucking industry. And also, if you're an armchair traveler, just come along for the ride and have some fun with us as we discover the roads of America. All right, we're here this morning with Kevin, Hi. who is going to enlighten us. <laughs> That was a little corny, right? You're so punny. I'm so punny. Go ahead, enlighten us, huh? This is a this is a teaching uh, tool tool yeah. that uh, they use to, to show drivers what they have to deal with on the tractor and the trailer as far as electrical stuff. Uh, these show all the different lights that you have. So is this something you would study during orientation with Werner? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Let's this, see. This is a wiper. Right, windshield wiper. Mm -hmm. There you've got turn signals. These are located in the middle, halfway down the trailer. And these flash for your four-way flashes or your turn signals, both of these. This is an LED and this is probably an LED too. Uh, the so they look different, but they have the same purpose. Yeah, okay. these would be located halfway down the trailer. These okay. are the tail lights that you find on the trailer or the tractor. So your turn signals, your brake signals and so on. This little yellow light, is at the back of the trailer on the driver's side and you can actually see it from your mirror if that comes on that small yeah if it comes on it means that your anti-lock brake system is not working you can still drive you can still stop and everything but if you brake really hard it's possible that the trailer wheels will lock mm. uh, not good yeah but it won't stop you but you should get it fixed okay. this is just a little a little marker light that you'll see on the back corner the trailer very close to this one actually it's just uh, to let people know where the back of the trailer is okay um, so you've got a light at the front of the trailer lights at the rear of the trailer low tire indicator if uh, that light comes on you'll see it out of your mirror it's located at the front of the trailer on the driver's side and you can see it when you're making turns and so on mm -hmm. another you know, like a side marker light version of the trailer ABS light, the yellow light that comes on if your anti-lock brakes aren't working. Mm -hmm. Reflectors and, and signal lights. Uh, this would be on the fender of the truck. It would work like a, like a turn signal or a, just a, a marker light so people can, can see you better at night. Headlight of course. Yeah. On your uh, mud flaps or splash guards you have this red and white tape. It's mandatory. It's, uh, it's DOT tape and it's highly reflective, and you see that tape all the way down the sides of the trailers and across the bumper at the back of the trailer, and it's on the mud flaps too. This is the plug that you use to connect the tractor to the trailer, so through this plug, all these lights will work on the trailer. And this here in the middle, this that's your a, fuse box? This is your fuse box, so it's, it's located in different places on different trucks, but basically if you have a light that's not working, can check the fuses to see if one of them is burnt out. You can also change a light bulb. Mm -hmm. uh, we're supplied with uh, spare lights in a kit so we can make these repairs. This one at the bottom looks like a license plate light. I had to change a couple of those on trailers. Oh yes, like your first five trailers, four of them the lights didn't three work, something them, like that. Three of them the lights didn't work. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So that's and what's at the end there? Is that something as well? This is, looks like a this is a glad hand. This is where you would connect the airline from the tractor to the trailer. So you'll have one of these on the end of a hose on the tractor, and you'll have one of these on the trailer itself. So this is where you would connect two pieces together that look like this, and they kind of mesh together. So the air flows through the grommet in the middle. Check these grommets to make sure they're not cracked or worn because they will leak air. This one's loose. And it's got a piece yeah, missing right piece there. Missing. That will leak, and you will lose air through that. Yeah. Okay. Well, whoop. Thank you, Kevin. All right. Anything else you want to say about that? Check your lights on your pre-trip inspection every day, because one could one could go, you know, while you're driving or you know overnight. The next day you start up, you take off. The police pull you over, you get a DOT inspection at a way station, or you get an accident because somebody couldn't see that you were turning a corner, you thought you had your signal on, yeah. and suddenly there's a, there's a crash, and 
could be just a little little bulb like that. So check them every day. And do you have extra bulbs on the truck with you? Do you have extra fuses? Yep. You, you get a you get a kit of spare fuses and bulbs okay. with the truck. If you don't have them, go into the service department and ask, and they'll hand them to you. Okay. Every time. All right. Well, thank you for this informative video. There's one other thing oh. that people people aren't always aware of. When you turn on your turn signal. And it flashes on the dashboard. You'll notice it has it has a, a slow, steady rhythm, like tick, 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 tick. If it goes fast, if you notice it's unusually fast, like tick, 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 it usually means a bulb's burnt out. Uh -huh. so you got when you turn on your turn signal, you've got your front indicator, your back indicator. You'll have one on the side. Cars have them in their mirrors now. On a truck like this, you'll have one, two, three, four, five different lights that flash when you hit a turn signal. If one of them has a burnt bulb, it will flash rapidly, and it's time for you to get out and check and see which one's not working. Okay. Good information. Just a little tip. All right, we love tips. Thank you very much. And with that, remember, if you learned something, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Comments and questions below. And if you wanna learn more things like this, or just come along, for some fun, hit that subscribe button. With love from Kevin and Tanya. Thank you. Bye. Bye.